All right, Jeff Grubb here, GamesBeat. I'm gonna show you what it's like to set up a room scale uh, virtual reality setup uh, in HTC Vive and Steam VR. Uh, this is the little app that pops up immediately when you start setting up your Vive. Uh, at this point, using Vive Pre, uh, you can't sort of have any profiles of the room you're in. You just have to go through and do this. So the first thing it tells you to do is make some space. Uh, get your couches out of the way, tables, coffee tables, um, move your TV against the wall, stuff like that. Um, you don't need a huge space. I've been doing this in my office with kind of like the bare minimum, uh, which is about, yeah, 6.5 feet by 5 feet, and it's worked fine. Uh, but the bigger the space you have, uh, the, the, a little bit better it is. Uh, having more room to walk around is, is definitely cool. Once you clear the space, go ahead, hit the next button, and it'll find the controllers uh, as long as you have your base station set up. Uh, you could just click next and now it's time to calibrate like where the monitor is. Basically this is going to kind of set up where the front of the room is. Uh, like this you just stand, you point the controller at the screen and you hold down the trigger. Hit next. Now for calibrating the floor you just put the controllers on the floor uh, and then you come back and you hit the calibrate button and as long as the base stations can see both controllers it'll automatically figure out where the floor is to put it in the same place once you're in uh, VR. I've actually messed that up before and it felt like the floor was in my chest and that was not fun. All right, now it's time to measure the space. Uh, this is really easy. You don't have to like measure it with a, a tape. You can honestly just, you take the controller. This is the best way to do it. It's the only way to do it. And you just start walking around, around the room while holding down your trigger. And it will start making an outline, as you can see. That's me walking around while simultaneously the game is tracking where I am, or at least where I'm holding the controller. And I, I drew this outline, and it's... Uh, I've kind of, I'm kind of holding it over the barriers, and I found that's not a problem. Uh, you don't have to be like right before the barriers, because you're going to see that, that blue chaperone system uh, before you kind of walk in and everything. Okay, so that, uh, that's going to do it. Um, thanks for watching. Again, I will, I'll catch you next time. We're going to have plenty of VR coverage coming up, uh, more on HTC Vive, more on Oculus Rift, so stay tuned.